Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a beauty video and it is one that I have been dying to share with you because it is probably one of my biggest beauty success stories so far for me personally. It's 2022. Happy New Year! <laughs> I did this treatment in November 2021. I was introduced to Dr. Serby from Cosderm just to get her some fresh eyes on this face. This was the first thing she recommended. I have had a non-surgical facelift. It's called Ultra Forma. This video is really informative. In it, you'll hear how it works, what happens, what are the results, the timings. I also talk about old therapy versus Ultra Forma because I've had quite a few girlfriends that have had old therapy and their results have been nothing to what mine have been. And you know, I will continue to, to work with this. It's non-invasive. Anyway, watch the video, you'll get all the information you need. And then at the very end, I have a little gift for you. I'm at Cosderm Clinic with Genevieve. Yeah. Genevieve is one of the main aestheticians, or what is your role? Yeah, I'm a aesthetic practitioner specializing in laser and energy based devices. So many people have noticed a glow in my skin, but I just don't know how to explain it properly. So I've got Genevieve who will just, you know, I'll interrupt, but just tell me what is the Ultra Forma? The Ultra Forma is one of my favorite devices and technologies in the industry. I've been working with it for over seven years now and still two with the new devices that have come through. It's all my go-to for skin tightening um, and basically lifting of sagging skin. Okay, so they, they call this the non-surgical facelift, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about tightening, plumping. Tightening and lifting and contouring yeah. the body and the face. So there's no area of the body that we can't treat with high food. Um, we're working with high intensity focused ultrasound and that is a heat that we're going to deliver in micro-focused or macro-focused wounding in multiple layers of either fat or the dermis to either sculpt away fatty deposits or to stimulate the dermis and help to remodel new collagen within the skin to revolumize, tighten and lift up areas of the face and body. So what did you focus on with my face? Was it... So for you, we focused uh, on the non-surgical facelift. That's where it is so popular, the treatments. Um, because what is so unique about high food is that it's not causing any downtime. You're not burning through all the layers to get into the deepest layers. And no energy-based device is able to get in deeper than high food. And you also work at much higher temperatures than other devices like radio frequency, for example, and your lasers. So you are getting in really, really deep into very focused and precise layers that you want to target. And everyone will be individual and will be customized to what they're wanting to achieve. But yeah, so we're working with heat, creating multiple uh, layers of wounding in, in different layers of the dermis. That heat on proteins is instantly going to constrict those fibers, so you instantly get a tightening of your collagen fibers when you heat them. So it's, it's, it's traumatizing this, the ligaments, was that right? Was it? Yeah, so we do go into this mass, uh, onto this mass muscle layer, and that's the layer that runs underneath the, the skin layers on the face, and it's what your surgeons use on the ligaments to pull it up when you have a facelift, basically. Okay. So by heating those uh, collagen fibers or the proteins or the ligaments at such high temperatures you're creating constriction of those uh, muscles in the, the SNAS which instantly pulls up and lifts. It's also great for people that are starting to show the jowls and as your fat pads start to migrate down you get the jowls, mm -hmm. you get the double chins and the, de and the definition of the draw line kind of just fades into the neck. This treatment is your go-to treatment to kind of sculpt the door jaw line, give you that more refined uh, jawline that everyone's after and it just delivers results time and time again. It's my go-to treatment. And and I wasn't quite prepared for the pain. There's no <laughs> there's no numbing cream, right? Can you no. numb? Because I, I have many um, of my Instagram family that, that say I can't, there's no way I can deal with that pain. Can you numb before this? No, I mean places like in America and things they will give you intravenal blocks 
However, we don't do that in the, in the UK. It's not needed. And, you know, the risks involved with anesthetic and people overlook as well. So yes. if you don't need to, we don't. Obviously, this is the third generation HIFU device as well. So it is the newest technology in the industry. They have bettered the technology. So it works with really high peak power, very quick repetition rates in hertz, delivery of energy. So it's not as painful as your first machines that were brought in, like Althera, for example. So therefore, you not need it to be done. It's not going to be not, not comfortable. It is a little bit uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> And then, and then, you know, you can adjust the energies and things depending on the clients yes. as well yeah. um, and customize that to a degree. When you put numbing cream on the skin, it numbs superficial layers. So you're, right. and you're not going, going, yeah, we're going yeah. way beyond those layers. So yeah. it's not needed. And, and I think I have a pretty good pain threshold. Mm -hmm. I do. It was like a burning, a deep, deep burning. And then when it goes over a nerve, like a spasm, but then you're so scared to move because <laughs> if you move suddenly, then you can also get burned. But Genevieve's a professional, and of course that didn't happen. But there were moments where I just really had to go, and I was just sweating. But you can only do this once a year. So, um, it is, that's right, once a year? No, so oh. you can, if you want to treat intensely, intensive lifting, on the lower jawline only, every three months mm -hmm. you wait you need to just give it time to heal but you can treat every three months two months yeah. if you wanted to and if you were addicted to that lift and that blow and you wanted to be yeah. treated but usually i'd recommend i'd usually say maybe two treatments a year just to kind of kick things and then one a year for maintenance oh. it just depends on the clients so we can do it again can yay mm -hmm. that's exciting. and again you can adjust the you can adjust the cartridge depths as well yes. so Select. you don't have to go in on the deepest deepest layers and not everybody mm -hmm. is uh, needing to go into those layers. Yes. So again, if someone comes in showing the first signs of aging, a young client with just a bit of crepiness, fine lines, I can go in with quite superficial cartridge depths mm -hmm. to focus on helping just to uh, tighten up the crepiness and help to soften the lines. We're not going in to sculpt and do facelifts on, on those treatments. Because my neck is my problem area. My whole skin is just, it's changed. It's night and day. But what is the actual, because I keep going, hold on, is it meant, am I meant to see results now? Because how, how long is it until you... So with regards to your deep dermal remodeling treatments, your results are instant. Collagen remodeling is coming through at about a two to four week period post treatments, mm -hmm. and you'll be laying down new collagen fibers for up to about a year, 12 okay. months. Again, everyone's a little bit different on how much help they need mm -hmm. um, regarding of the age, their lifestyle, yes. everything that comes into play. But you'll be laying down collagen for months post treatment, but your results on this treatment are going to peak in about two to three months after your treatment. Two to three months, and this is like four weeks, and I can already see see some mm -hmm. results. The great thing about this, there was no downtime too. There was no. I walked out. I wasn't red and swollen or puffy I could have gone out that night in fact it was because you do because the muscle the ligaments are traumatized as you said it tightens straight straight away but I also followed it with a microdermabrasion vitamin C facial yes so we did the NB with the vitamin C infusion so that's using a diamond tipped abrasion to gently resurface and get rid of the dead skin cells that making the skin look dull and tired and then we use the vacuum suction which is going to decongest and get uh, rid of any impactions in the pores and then we infuse the vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, which is going to give you the, the glow of hydration and work on pigmentation. And again, feed the cells with your, your vitamins to produce collagen. And I've never had microdermabrasion before, and that was interesting, like felt interesting, but it just, I could feel like I the vitamin C and all the goodness <laughs> going into my skin, and it felt amazing. The Ultraformer was 700 pounds for, I mean, you did everywhere. NV is 150 on its own, or if you're wanting LED with it, it's 180. And I did have the LED, I love LED. You can't yeah. get enough LED, and it's great for anti-inflammation. Everything, anti yes. Yeah. Okay, one thing that quite a few of my girlfriends have done is had the old therapy. Mm -hmm. And then, but there, when I'm talking about the Ultraforma, it seems like my results have already been more prominent than what they've done. What is the difference? So Althera and Ultra, Ultra Form 3 are both high food devices, so they're both working with the same technology um, and doing the same thing. The clinical efficacy of the two devices, there's, they're the same. There's been a lot of research and trials done on both the devices 
to show the efficacy of the outcome for patients, and they are very much homogenous. Altera was one of the was the first hyphy device that they brought it into the industry, so it is one of the you know the oldest devices around. However, over the years the technology has bettered as well. Okay. So Classis have kind of taken the technology and bettered it. Um, you know you work with more cartridges on this device than any other device in the industry, so therefore it gives you more customization on what you want to treat and where you want to treat. You can treat anywhere on the body and the face with this device, where Althera you limit it to, so you know, it doesn't go into the body as soon as it is. When you say cartridges, is that like millimetres, like the depth? Those of, are, you choose the depths with your cartridges. Yes. And you went, the, the deepest you went was 4.5 millimetres, I think? Yeah, probably in some areas. Yeah. Possibly, and maybe so on the double chin, and maybe on the jowls. Double chin. So again, I will, you know, I will customize that to yeah. the client. Just because it does go in deep, doesn't mean you are going in deep for that patient. It depends on the anatomy. But I really feel like this is so much different. It's phenomenal. I've trained Already. and worked with many, many energy-based devices, lasers, radio frequency, fractional, you know, microneedling RFs. This is one. Of, this is my favorite treatments in the industry. Yeah. Because you see, I see the results. I see the results daily. I treat with it, you know, day in day out. Also with the other devices. But what the beauty with this is, there's no downtime. So those other treatments, you have to psych yourself up, plan the downtime. This you can fit it in. The results are phenomenal, mm -hmm. and it delivers. Just um, one thing too, just with aftercare. You'll feel a bit tender and quite a bit, maybe a bit bruised around the low jawline. So it does feel quite tender when you touch it or go wash your face. We have created a lot of wounding in those lower levels, so you won't visually or you know see it in the form of bruising, but it is traumatized underneath there, so it does feel quite delicate. There will sometimes be like a swelling over the area, but again, nothing that you have to hide away from. You can carry on the rest of your day. There will be a little bit of redness in the skin. We are delivering heat at the end of the day to heat those tissues. So again, nothing more than what you would have coming back from a workout in the gym. Yeah, that was it. I think the only thing, I had no redness, I had no swelling, I had a beautiful glow, an amazing glow. But I felt what I had for weeks here, or even still now, just a little bit tender under there. Yeah. But it's good pain. No pain, no gain. <laughs> Remember that. Okay, anything else you want to add? Or? Great maintenance treatments for those clients, showing the first signs once a year just to hold back the clock. And I view this as your investment into your skin. You may not see the results straight away, but it's an investment in the long run. You've also got former an ultra former. Mm -hmm. So what, some people just start with former. Former is a different technology. Former is working with bipolar radio frequency. So that is working in a current. It has a, a handpiece and the current passes through the handpiece. It warms on the end. Okay. And you're just basically getting a probe and heating the skin. You're lifting the temperature to 42 degrees. This is 60, 75 degrees, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you just bulk heating the dermis, mm -hmm. the superficial dermis. Yeah. So it's great for those clients to show you first signs of aging, you're okay. one yeah, too yeah. tight in the skin, exactly. They don't need a full facelift yeah. in their 20s yeah. or in their 30s, but they're wanting to focus on you know, targeting those first signs of aging. Former is the way to go for them. Or alternatively, if clients are quite aged and do need intensive lifting, you can go in with your high fees maybe a couple of times a year, three to four times a year even, mm -hmm. that would be your most intensive. And in between that, you can do your formulas okay. to so top up. Compliments. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And to boost it up. I think we're doing some more form, we'll be doing Forma or ultra, more Ultra Forma here? So we could do more Ultra Forma in that area, depending. The neck we could do in about a month's time, if yeah. you want to do, because the work is very superficial, you're not working in deep cartridge depths on that area. Yeah. So you could treat this area once a month, oh. forehead once a month, eyes once a month. It's your SMAS muscle, oh, so, it's so it's this. You need that muscle to heal. If yeah. you over treat it, you cause fibrosis. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. that's the lower face for jawline sculpting three months between treatments. But if you just go in superficially to kind of tighten the skin on your superficial layers, you can come in once a month if you wanted to. So there you have it. I am going to continue to do ultra former on my neck. This is my area of contention and I will also continue to do it through here. But this area, as she said, you can only do it every three months. 
but it's just, it's phenomenal. The results have been phenomenal. And then I've also booked in to get some Tixel. Tixel, where we're gonna be working, I'll do a video on it. It's all uh, about the pigmentation, but it's taking it a little bit deeper. Also, I'm looking forward to trying out the Morpheus 8, and then also the former facials. I trust Dr. Serby, and I'm really looking forward to introducing you all to her. She's a little camera shy, but I'll get her over that. She is an anaesthetist, so her perspective is a little bit different, again, especially on the face and the body. She is so educated and informed and knowledgeable. She's also very kind and generous. So she is offering all of my Me More TV wonderful followers and friends 10% off your first or next treatment with Dr. Serby at Cosderm. I will put the code below in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up. We always have to say that. And don't forget to click on the notification bell wherever it's gonna pop up so you get notified whenever I release a new video. And please subscribe. Not right now, I've just, oh, still glowing. I'll get her over that. Um,